All right, well, as that other round of winter weather kind of moves our way, the Georgia Department of Transportation is preparing its salt supply, of course, to treat the roads like they did before. Now, most of the salt that they use, well, it's not that remarkable. And then there's the salt of a different color. Our Y Guy explains it's new all this morning. <laughs> as frigid temperatures turn you blue from head to toe, remember, you're not alone. Winter can turn Georgia's streets and highways a shade of blue. To protect the state's roads from snow and ice, the Georgia Department of Transportation uses a combination of mostly white salt mixed with some that is blue. It's not a gender reveal. It, it is that, that blue salt, it does have a benefit to it. Here's why blue salt can be helpful when battling winter weather. Several agencies around the country have turned to blue salt for road treatment during the winter. Our crews saw some of it at the city of Atlanta's salt barn as crews prepared for our last winter storm. There are a variety of reasons for using it. Some of GDOT's salt supply is treated with chemicals to keep it from clumping. If you keep a box of salt around for too long, moisture will make it rock hard. The chemicals used to keep road salt from doing that will turn it blue. You've got salt in these barns that sits through hurricane season, that sits through a warm Georgia summer. And so some of the salt in that barn can get compacted. Sometimes having that blue salt um, that has that anti-clumping uh, anti film can be of a benefit. Some cities around the U.S. color their salt so neighbors know their streets have been treated. It also lets crews know that a street has already been treated so they don't waste time and money spreading more salt unnecessarily. GDOT doesn't need blue salt to keep up with where their crews have been. The agency has GPS technology that lets them know where and when their salt trucks have been on the job. 